Good morning, Twitch.tv. Good morning to YouTube as well. And of course, good morning, Mini Motorway. So let's go to Zurich for today's daily challenge. We will start with four tunnels, and that's all we get. But hey, if we need bridges, they don't require road tiles. So that's nice. Hulkamat is here, says great googly moogly. The goog is so googly, and you know what? I can't argue with him. He's correct. This is a googly goog. Sunflare's space was here first. Good afternoon, Sunny. Hope you are doing well. It is Wednesday, comma, my dudes. And you know what that means. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's Wednesday. I, 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 I'm going to wear a pink tie today for work because 20-year-old movie references, which additionally are like uh, six-month-old movie references. Yay! But let's be honest with ourselves. It's a 20-year-old movie reference. Oh, Stretch. Sunny is enjoying her vacation. Oh, big Stretch. Oh, my. Oh, fuck. Ow. Oh, apparently I needed that Stretch. Ha <laughs> ah, ha. Oh. Oh, I'm like an inch taller than I was 45 seconds ago. Oh, that's great. Let's take a bridge. We have a bridge now. That's good. Oh. Owie. Oh, I did the zoom in thing. I never actually do the zoom in thing when I'm when I'm properly playing, but whenever I'm, you know, just doodly bopping around with the mouse, sometimes I'll accidentally touch the scroll wheel and whoop, you can get closer. Is this, is, is, is this anything? Is this good? Do we care about this? We probably shouldn't stay like this on account of the fact that stuff can spawn on the outside periphery. So yeah, probably not. Okay, so uh, this red is gonna come down here and we'll do that. Uh, this red is gonna join it. That red is gonna be sole support for this business. And this red over here is gonna wait for a for a northern limit red house to spawn, I think. I don't particularly feel the need to, uh, you know, draw a bridge just to get a second red house for this little red business. Nora, you're getting so chubby. I have a, no, Nora, Nora's an exceedingly fluffy cat, but um, you ordinarily, fluffy is code for fat. And I don't, think Nora's fat, but well, at this particular angle with the way she's kind of asleep, well, not asleep, but lying down on her side on the coffee table. Yeah, there might be just a, just a bit of a, bit of a cat cut developing there. Hmm. Sure. That's fine. Let's see here. Uh, question. The fuck are we doing? It's a good question to which I presently don't have an answer. Let's do this. We're going to run these two dark blue houses directly into the adjacent dark blue business because honestly, that just makes sense. Then we're going to, uh, actually, hold on. Can I, I can't run yellows. I can run yellows through here to here, no problem. But if I was to do that, like so, I can't then do dark blues through the same gap over to here. So that's mildly annoying. I suppose then that the thing to do is this ridiculousness, which feels pretty ridiculous. And yet it does mean, oh, thank God. Thank you, mini motorways. It's exactly what needed to happen. We get a dark blue business over here for the dark blue houses. And then we get a dark blue house over here to make this a thing. That solves every problem. Good job, Mini Motorways. And thank you for solving every problem, at least for now. I'm sure you're going to create more problems eventually. And we're going to like, you know, die because that's kind of what happens here. But for now, you've solved every problem by spawning this house and this business. Again, good job. Good God, it's hot. 
It's so freaking warm. Why does it have to be warm? Now, granted, it is July. Like, even before shit went ultra fucky with the climate and, you know, doom clearly wrapped its burning fingers around our collective throats, I guess, I don't know where I was going with that, but um, even before that, July in New England was always, like, warm, and it is presently, like, warm, and humid, and awful, and ucky. I don't particularly enjoy living in Florida, it turns out. Like, the thing I always heard about Florida is, especially in the summer, is hot and humid every single day, and then, like half the time, at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, out of nowhere... It's just going to be a thunderstorm. It's going to be a single little thunderstorm, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And then you'll move on with your lives. And um, I'm not saying that's every single day here in New England, but it has happened with increasing regularity over the last, say, decade or so. And, well, nobody's racing to fix that, so it's going to be fine. I'm sure that... um, New England's climate turns into Florida's climate is going to be the very worst thing that happens as a result of climate change over the remaining time. We're, okay, this is this is good. This is fine. Uh, let's take a roundabout, shall we? That's a good idea. Didn't particularly need the 30 road tiles. I've got 54 to spare. So we have a roundabout. I could do some... Uh, Sports one keeps getting storm threats that peter out because the clouds are balking, which, okay. It, it, it's better they're balking than that they're balky, because then they'd be a terrible 90s sitcom character. That's that's mean. I, didn't, I don't think Balky Bartokamus is a terrible character or a character on a terrible sitcom. Just a character. Now then, uh, this dark blue goes down here. We're going to have to chop these two in half because we didn't get... A lot of support down this way, but this should be fine for a minute or three. This yellow here has gone circular, which isn't the best thing, but it's also not the worst. It's basically fine. Uh, I don't love the the positioning of... Oh, hi. You know, I was going to say I don't love the positioning of this and then use that to, to like do a thing, but... Here, can I sneak through... In here, I can't. Balderdash. Can I get a roundabout here? Really? No, I can't fit a roundabout anywhere in there. Fook. I guess we can just do this, which is pretty awful, but the alternative is using one of my four and only four tunnels for this little intersection thing here, which is, I mean, neither of those is a great choice, to be clear, but I think this is the better one, probably. It's a heavy emphasis on the probably in that sentence, but, you know, it'll be fine. You go down this way, hello, Kugane music, or perhaps the music of any of half a dozen places in uh, in, in that general continent, because Final Fantasy XIV just uses the same music in, like, eight different places in six different arrangements for that DLC, the name of which is presently escaping me. Stormblood? Is it Stormblood I'm in? I think it's Stormblood I'm in. That sounds right. So this, pay, this uh, white business here, we've got these two white houses, we'll go in there, and the one, two, three of you can motorway number one up like so. Should be fine. Uh, you're a little yellow guy. You've spawned in a fucking terrible position. TBQH. Don't really have anything good to say about you. Give me another motorway. I don't remember why I st I didn't make the intentional choice to stop playing Final Fantasy XIV, I just kind of did. Like, uh, other things took my gaming attention for a minute, and Final Fantasy XIV has not jumped out and taken it back. Which, I mean, me dropping off of XIV did coincide with the Dawn Trail release, which, again, wasn't intentional, but did turn out to be kind of convenient just because it meant I missed all the crazy queue times for Dawn Trail, which apparently weren't all that crazy this time. 
So that's good. Good to know that, well, it's probably good in the in the infrastructure sense, not in the decaying player base sense. I feel like it would be more of a big deal if it was in the decaying player base sense. Uh, we've got do, 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 these greens here, which I can restructure the road in this manner to go down that away. This is kind of ugly and awful, but you know, it's basically fine. You know, this, yeah, this blue can go back over, service this business, that's fine. These two aren't really doing anything anyway. Give me a, another bridge, thank you. It's especially important given that I'm about to, well, I was gonna possibly use a motorway, but we already had one here, so never mind. We'll just toss all of these white houses on to motorway number one. Motorway number one goes up into this circle. Everything's a-okay skis. Now, uh, this red can come down here, join this road, this little uh, deer antler situation we got going on this way. Hey, you know what? If I've got these two dark blues here and the, they can just kind of replace this dark blue here doing that. So all of these dark blues can just kind of, hold on. I can even make this look nicer. Holy crap. Are you telling me that we can make a road that looks nicer? Might even be slightly more efficient? Efficient. That's that's not a word. Gook. It's really not a word, actually. But it's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. Speaking of fine, uh, I think basically everything's fine right now. Like, the closest things we have to true problems are... Uh, this dark blue right here, which has four houses and nothing else going for it, but we, oh, hi, never mind. Um, we also have this yellow circle here, which is kind of weird. It only has three houses. There's this fuck you intersection. I can't really get that yellow involved. And there's the growing rise of fascism and the seemingly inevitable downfall of the American empire, which, I mean, fuck empires, but also I live in one, so... That part's bad. Not much we can do about that one, though. So, you know, maybe it'll be fine. Maybe, um, maybe something new and tremendous will rise from the ashes of our burning country. That should be good. That, 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 that historically works out well. I was reminded recently that, thankfully, uh, the morally just and correct side has won every major conflict over the whole of human civilization. So, we've got that going for us. You, uh, hmm. Well, we got a bunch of greens to spawn here. Go down this way. That should be fine. You're a yellow that just came into existence, which... Listen, I don't love, gonna be brutally, woefully honest with you here, I'm not a massive fan of that. But, do I have a butt? Should probably have a butt. Title of the episode. So, I've got these greens. I don't think I can motorway to them because I think this uh, this little uh, mountain here is going to get in the way. I'm wrong. Interesting. So, well, that's good in the sense that, yeah, it's probably just good. Here. Let's draw motorway number two. We'll run you over to here. These greens here. You know what, before I draw that motorway, let's connect that house. Let's get a third greenhouse going in there. Okay. So now, even though like this is going over the mountain, because I demonstrated that there was a mechanical way to get this motorway to get over here without going over the mountain, the game's like, okay, fine, whatever. 
it's fine. Just, just, just don't tell anyone we let you do this. So, we're definitely not telling anyone that I let that the game let me do this ridiculous motorway all the way over the top of this mountain. Now then, another problem is this yellow business, and that problem will be solved with our friend. I really thought I could fit a roundabout in there. I really thought I could fit a roundabout in there. Is a uh, hmm. Okay. Well, it'll be fine. Because I can fit a roundabout in here. And that's basically the same thing. So what we'll do is we'll run these yellows up and over like so. Right? And then they'll go up and in and through here. And this does use one of our tunnels, which actually stop everything. I don't need to do that. I don't need to do any of that. And the reason I don't need to do any of that is that I have these two yellow houses. These two yellow houses right here can just do that. And yes, technically they are part of this red road, but the stupid thing I was gonna do involved sticking a roundabout right here, which would have had these yellows and these yellows and this yellow and this yellow all weirdly connected. Oh, it would have been atrocious. Would have been nightmare pants. Okay. Give me another motorway. We've got a got a yellow business down here, which is frankly off-putting. But uh, you know what? There's no great way to. I don't. Th I don't see a great way to separate these blues and yellows right now. I see a way to, to get them separated eventually, but not to just separate them. So we're going to do it this way. You're going to come this way. You're going to go there. Ow. Here. This looks stupid. This looks marginally less stupid. Additionally, we probably want voop and voop there. Okay. So blues come in here, yellows come in there, you go through the roundabout, you go due south to get to the yellow, you go southeast to get around to get to the blue. There. That is a reasonable roundabout. This is not a rat like. Gonna just blanket statement that this right here, not a rat like. Additionally, hey look what else I can do. I found another thing I can do to make my life easier. We'll do that. We have three yellow houses instead of two, and, and, we're not sharing a road, weirdly. We're not sharing a road at all. This green point down that way, that'll be fine. Uh, this white house need more stuff. This goog stop talk full sentence, hmm. Vaguely recall office bit Kevin fat guy talk like this. Want not to make office reference. Ubiquitous television program. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one, two, three, four white houses right here. We're going to run them into this white business like so. These two reds here are, ooh, there's only two of you? For this long road? That doesn't seem like it's going to work for much longer. Hmm. Sports Pun has used the reference to argue against the reference, which is impressive. Good job. Hmm. So now I'm a little concerned about this red business here, which, I mean, I probably should be, on account of it having a very long road and only two houses, and... Hmm. Okay. Is there anything I can do about that, though? I mean, I could draw a motorway and make things faster. I don't know if that would make things better, but it would make things faster. I have... You know what I could do? Here's what I could do. I've got one, two, three red houses here. Yeah? What if we chop up all this road, 
We bulldoze all that road right there. Then we take motorway number three, and we just straight shot motorway these one, two, three red houses into this business. That might or might not matter. But what it does is it gets three houses straight shot motorway over to here, which is good. And uh, it lets these houses actually do something because they had previously not been doing anything, which I suppose is good. It's nice to feel useful. Now then, uh, this yellow circle is probably the biggest present problem, and we just got a new biggest present problem. Yay. Uh, the biggest present problem is the mathematical discussion of who's the best at Christmas? Possibly. So, uh, these yellows here can loop up and over like so. That'll free up these three yellows in this area to go bridge over here, bridge over here, and down here to the River Kwai. There. Okay. So, this yellow business now has folks going to it, which is probably good. You're a dark blue that just came into existence. I don't necessarily love that, but... The good news, question mark, is that, well, I mean, you're on a dark blue road that already had plenty of dark blue support, so I know this is suboptimal, and I know that I should probably fix it, but I go wanna. So I think we're just going to let that be for a second. You've gone circular, which is mm, a choice you could make. Toss more dark blues onto this. Toss more dark blues onto that. Give me, uh, give me a third bridge. I haven't taken traffic lights yet, and it's, it's not solely because I don't like traffic lights, but you know, there are more useful things than traffic lights every time traffic lights come up. Hey, how about that? Let's see here. Uh, this yellow circle dead in the middle is still a problem. I still don't have a super great plan for it. Um. Well, if I tunnel these yellows, I can use these yellows to service this business, which means I can then use these yellows to service this business somehow. Don't ask me how, I haven't gotten that far yet, but it's a thing I could tell myself that I could do, which is almost as good as a thing I could actually do when you think about it. You go up here, you swing over that away, that'll be fine. Uh, you remember this dark blue problem, which I recognized as a problem and chose not to fix? Yeah, it's becoming more of a problem. So, should probably start getting on doing something about that. Give me another roundabout. All right, let's do something about this dark blue problem. Here's what we'll do. We've got... Uh, we've got a whole ass load of dark blue houses right here. You see? Behold the load of my ass. No. Oh, absolutely no. All right. So let's do this. The one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, the one, two, three, four, five of you are gonna down here and then irk up that away over to here. Then, the, hold on. I think I've got it. You, like that, yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Actually, you know what? Here, let's make this ever so slightly more annoying just by doing that. So the one, two, three, four, five of you go down here, in there, over that way. And then the one, two, three, four, five of you go through here, like so, into there. And this will make sense just as soon as the rest of the tunnel goes away. There. Okay. 
Now this does use two of my tunnels, which is bad because I'm limited in tunnels, but it basically does everything else that needed doing. So that's good. You know what else is good? Or another thing I could just do? I've got all of these yellows here that are more than sustaining this yellow business. What if we just kind of awkwardly stuck these two yellows over here to provide more backup support for this yellow business? Like, I know that's not ideal. It's not necessarily what you want. No one's gonna, gonna you know, sing songs about the mechanics and aesthetics of these terrible intersections, but a uh, number will go up and number go up make brain feel better. So, you know, who can, who can argue against the logic of number go up make brain feel better? Honestly. Give me another motorway, thank you. Is there anything in desperate need of that motorway at the moment? Not really. Uh, could just kind of jam another yellow in here. That's good. This Bayesianist here is getting a little angerated, which is unfortunate because I don't really have anything I can do to help it. Uh, this yellow circle just got mad at me, which rude. All right. What if? Hold on. I have an idea. Now, granted, part of the yellow problem here is that it's just rush hour. But, you know, we can still try to fix things, even at rush hour. You go up this way. Boop, boop, and boop. Kill that little dude. If we have a motorway that starts right here, in theory, or at least conceptually, I should be able to just hook it through here and get to this business, right? Like, that doesn't strike me as irrational. A motorway can't go over mountains. The, mo the motorway's not trying to go over a... Is it just because as the crow flies, there's a freaking mountain in the way? Because, like, vert, like that. Is that... That can't really be your problem, though, because you let this exist. So... All right, let's try it this way. What if we start motorway number four from right here? What's the furthest up this way I can get it to? Okay. Okay, so we can do that. It's, it's workable. It's not ideal, but... So what we've done is I've got motorway number four straight shotting up this way, and it has seven houses attached to it. Additionally, just by virtue of, like, existing, motorway number four allows me to pull all of the garbage crap off of this other road in such a way, uh, you can get your very own, very long, dedicated mo roundabout entrance. How about that, friend? Like, I save a bridge, I get back a bunch of road tiles, which doesn't matter because I've got road, but it also just clears up everything. Like, this is the equivalent of an acne strip for your roads. I'm gonna clear up the, the blackheads over here and the pimple I've been developing over this way is just gone now. Didn't even have to go through that awkward phase where you've got an enormous fucking zit on your face and there's nothing you can do about it for a week until it finally is almost ready to pop and you've been very patient with it, but then it's almost ready and you think it is ready and you go to pop it and it doesn't pop and it fucking hurts. And now in addition to having an enormous zit on your face, you have a big red splotch surrounding the enormous zit on your face. Not that I'm speaking from experience or anything. So this yellow business has also gotten mad because after all it is just rush hour. This red business is mad because it's a circle being serviced by four and exactly four houses, which isn't really enough houses for a circle these days. Um, hmm. Sports pun gets all of his skin tear skincare tips from Gim -M -M -M, which I mean, yeah, if it works. I don't think it would, but uh, is there anything I could actually do about this red? Hold on. Like, oh, and this beige. Why are you mad? Come on. I don't accept you being mad. You've got a straight shot motorway and seven houses. And this yellow business died when I was yelling at something else, which 
Okay. So 2,656 commuters over 97 days. That's, you know, it's a score. It's it's top 10%. We'll take that. It's, it's not anywhere near as good as Samurai Sam, but, well, hmm. Don't, um, hmm. What about moving on? Let's do that. Let's bring in our very good friend to the world. It'll be, uh, it'll be body. It's not actually body. It's a shame. It was a very strange route I took to nailing the wordle answer into. No? Okay. Well, listen, I've got, I've suddenly learned a great number of things about this, actually. Uh, it could be, uh, I, w I want it to be like pused. That's not a word, so. Uh, hmm. Uh, the, what's the French word for hor horny? Loosed. No? All right, fine. Um, are any of these a word? Like, is there any letter that, that stands in for that X and creates a, a word? Used, toost, oost, used. Pust, sust, fust, gust, hust, just, gust. Hmm. Luste. I don't think this is the correct. Which is a shame. What about something else? It probably has to be something else, doesn't it? Oh, it could be sweet. Like a hotel suite or a, or a suite at a... It's not sweet. And yet... Sorry. I, I'm just looking at this like, what the fuck am I missing? It's not a Q. It's, it's not a T. That's not a word. It's not P. Fweet. Gweet. Gweet. It's the French word for eight with an E at the end of it. I don't think that's a word in the English language. Jouit, quit, luit, zuit, zuit, quit, vuit, zuit, what? I, I, the fuck is this? It's not a word. Gabe? Gabe, the fuck is this? It's not a, it's not a, Guys, I don't, I'm not, what am I missing? The fuck am I missing? What is it? Fucking moron, oh my god. so hung up on the E pronunciation. <laughs> <I'm> <sighs> we got the wordle in four. That's what matters. Good morning, high altitude buns. Good, smart person. Obviously. It's 
draw some connections, shall we? So we need... <sighs> All right, so speaking a lot of like basic parts of towns here, like towns have post offices and schools and laundromats and supermarkets and banks and things like that. So, hmm. Let's see here. You could curb inhibit check. Curb inhibit and check are all, hey, slow it down, buddy. Nix is just, fuck that, that's not happening. But I suspect they're all part of one, ca one category here that's just, no, it's not. Okay. I was wrong. Uh, bide, maybe? Could be bide. As in just slow it down? No. That's also one away. So, the fuck am I missing here? Hamper. Hamper is also a slow it the hell down. There you go. Good job, Gook. Okay. So, we need to do more of those. I don't know. Um, these aren't flags, are they? Like a pride flag and a... No, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, you can bide your time. You can have a time bank. That's a thing. I don't think you can really have supermarket time, though. If you're being timed in a supermarket, uh, you're, you're playing supermarket sweep. The next time you're at the grocery store and you hear the beep, think of all the fun you'll have on supermarket sweep. No? No? I was a shop to you, a drop kit anyway. <sighs> Well, uh, I mean, a swarm, a school, a pride, and a pack are all groups of various aminal type things. So, that makes sense. Post office month. <laughs> Everybody likes post office month. Till one guy from Amazon waves it. Never mind. Um, hmm. So, the fuck are we doing here? Are we, are we just saying that post office, laundromat, supermarket, and bank are places you go on errands? Because they're buildings around town. Okay. Nick's washing, bide, and cart are words that are also the starts of U.S. presidents because Biden, Carter, Nixon and Washington. Okay. Okay. You're not wrong, Connections. You're not. You're not wrong. It's a correct statement you've made. I, I, I can't. So today's theme for Strands is Park Place, which could just mean we're doing Monopoly, but probably means, I don't know, we're doing civic institutions or something. Uh, maybe it's just board games. It could just be board games. It's probably not just board games. But I did see Clue, so, you know. I also see Clues, which is great for a children's television program about a blue dog. No, not that one. The other one. Um, hmm. It. Oh, I see Lawn. That's not going to actually help me with anything. I see lair and layers, which are things that ogres and onions have. What are we looking for here? It's a large. Doesn't, uh, hmm. Ow. Thought I saw embargo, but no. Sportsman sees bench. Which, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh, benches, that's actually, oh, it might actually be shit that's in a park. Hold on. 
Is there, there, there are benches in a park. Z some of them you can even sit on. Others are designed to punish the homeless for existing. But, you know, America. Uh, let's see here. You could go on a slide at a park. It's a true thing. Playground. Oh, maybe that's the, that's totally your span group. Right here. Playground. Hey, how about that? Neat. And you can go on the swings. And, uh, oh, we already had slide. Uh, I don't think we can fit teeter-totter in this, but, you know. Uh, sandbox, maybe? Definitely sandbox. Sandbox. And this is... Oh, climber. Okay. Sure. And we can fit teeter-totter if we weasel out and call it a seesaw. So, okay, fine. That's a good game of Strands. Strands continues to be a good, fine game. Well done, Strands. Now, for today's Immaculate Grid, we need dudes who were on the Dodgers, dudes who were on the Red Sox, rookies of the year, dudes who hit 300 homers in their career, MVPs, and gold glovers. So, a uh, gold glover who played for the Red Sox is Mookie Betts, an MVP who played for the Red Sox is Mookie Betts, a guy who played for the Dodgers and the Red Sox is Mookie Betts, and actually, I don't think Mookie Betts won Rookie of the Year because Rookie of the Year is a stupid award, and a uh, dude with 300 career home runs is... Uh, not Mookie Betts. He has 262. He'll get there next year, probably. Imagine not getting any of these squares. So a dude who played for the Dodgers and the Red Sox is, of course, Enrique Hernandez. Who also goes by Kike Hernandez. And a dude who played for the Red Sox and won the MVP is Dustin Pedroia. And a dude for, who played for the Red Sox and won a gold glove is... Uh, actually, no, I'm taking the layup. It's Mookie Betts. How about that? Imagine if you had Mookie Betts on your team and decided that your team would be better off by not having Mookie Betts on it. Imagine trading Mookie Betts. A guy who played for the Dodgers and hit 300 homers in his career is Manny Ramirez. A dude who hit 300 homers in his career and won the MVP is, oh, I don't know, did Gary Sheffield ever win MVP? Not that I can recall. A dude who hit 300 career home runs and won a cold glove is uh, Ken Griffey's kid. Vaguely familiar with him. I think Cal Ripken won an MVP. That sounds right. Did Cal Ripken Jr. win the MVP? He totally did. And now, unfortunately... We must name Rookies of the Year. Do you have to have won it for the Dodgers to be in this square? When paired with a team, the player must have won the Rookie of the Year award in a season when he appeared for that team. Well, piss. Uh, well, the good news is they created the award in order to give it to Jackie Robinson, so I can just say Jackie Robinson. Yay. Uh, rookie of the Year who was also MVP. I don't fucking know. Uh, I'm pretty sure Nomar Gar... I'm very sure Nomar Garcia Parra won Rookie of the Year. I'm fairly sure Rookie of the... I'm fairly sure Nomar Garcia Parra also won a gold glove. Which would mean that Nomar Garcia Parra fits the bottom middle square. So... Nope. Apparently Nomar Garcia Parra didn't actually win a gold glove. Which, I mean... It's not exactly a travesty, but, well, anyway, uh, dude who won Rookie of the Year and MVP, I don't fucking know, did Derek Jeter win Rookie of the Year? I think he was a, yeah, he was a rookie before Nomar, so he doesn't, okay, all right, fine, oh, Fred Lynn, that, that makes sense, he won, he won them both the same year, also, apparently, Derek Jeter won the gold glove, but never MVP, I could have sworn he got one in, like, the late 2000s maybe no he was he was the guy who deserved the mvp the year justin morneau won the mvp that's the problem 
All right, well, that's a shame. This has been an episode of Good Morning Mini Motorways. Folks, we will be back tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock Eastern for another one tomorrow evening. We'll be back with the great Ace Attorney Chronicles. And uh, listen, I know that the Friday stream is only scheduled to be Gimimimim, and we are going to do Gimimimim on Friday, but I think we're going to get an FTL in this weekend. I want to play FTL. I want to stream FTL. I want people who aren't me to help me play FTL because I'm bad at FTL. So we're probably going to do an FTL stream either Friday or Saturday. But definitely, we'll be back tomorrow morning. Until then, folks, thank you all as always for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care and uh, bye. I said level because I was looking at my audio levels and now I'm concerned that I'm clipping. Have I been clipping for this entire stream? I hope not. Here, let's just knock that down 0.3 dB. That's gonna make all the difference in the world. Uh, check our daily challenge score, doodah, doodah. Top, holy crap! Whoa! Whoa! Okay. I, uh, 